All right, let's talk the good and the bad of full self-driving. I drive 100 miles for my commute, so I can say I have a decent sample size of where full self-driving is right now. Okay, first off, let's start with the good. You can adjust the settings from chill, average, to assertive. So based on your preferences on how the self-driving drives, you can make it a little more aggressive, a little less aggressive. That's kind of cool. Another thing that it's really good at is changing lanes. I mean, it is to the point where if it sees a car approaching you, it'll speed up while changing lanes. It's not like it's just moving at one speed. It does a really good job of that. Um, overall, it knows where it's going. It does fairly well, and it drives like a confident Uber driver. I mean, it just, it does really well 70% of the time, maybe even 80, depending on where you live. Now let's get to the bad. <sighs> where do I start? So, there have been a few times where it has just been indecisive.